black men get the white women that other white men genuinely do not want. You don't get the top of the line white women. You don't. You get leftovers. Look at most of our celebrities. They don't. They did not marry women who came from the richest white families. Black money and white money don't behave the same. New black money will jump on any poor white girl and make her a billionaire, Tiger Woods. <laughs> rich white woman, rich white money doesn't operate that way. You no interracial relationship is acceptable because we have too many black women who are unmarried. Black women are the largest population on the planet Earth. If you can't find one in America, get it from Africa. If you can't get it from Africa, go to the Caribbean, go to Canada, go to Europe. Why would a black man need to copulate, build a family with anything other than a black woman when you have so many black women available? It is an exercise in self-hatred. There's no way to get around it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as for the title guys, you can see in today's video, we're gonna be talking about one of the Latina preference who has been left a three times single baby mama by these kings, which I think it is quite interesting because these male for the longest of time, they have been coming out here, literally yelling on top of their dirty lung, talking about how these non-black women, they're so much better for them, how they make the perfect partner, how they're feminine, how they're non-combative, how they listen to their men, how they cater to their men. Y'all know in this situation, because she is indeed a Latina, they like to call them their spicy Latina, which I which think it is it's quite comical to be honest guys because if these women are so much better if these women possess all of these amazing qualities how come y'all continue to make them single baby mama this is something that personally i know the answer to but these male because they have been working over time trying to convince you that you as a black woman you're the problem and in order for you to have one of them by your side that you have to jump through all of these hoops which i also think is very comical because, because trust and believe when i said I have zero desire in having any of the least desired male in my close proximity, but I know unfortunately we're still on this journey. There's still a lot of black women that they're out here, they're waking up, they're having this epiphany. But I think it is quite comical how oftentimes we will see this male out here on social media talking about in order for you as a black woman to get one of them that you have to do this, you have to do that. Like who in their right mind in 2024 are out here competing for the least desired male of society, but let them tell it, every group of women are literally doing whatever it takes to have one of them by their side. Y'all know that these males, they don't believe that themselves, but unfortunately they know that there's still a lot of women that are very naive, that are still believing that notion. Y'all know that they love to run with the rhetoric that they're the most desired male when it comes to pleasuring a woman. Which does these men not know that in order for you to be a productive citizen of society, you need more than for you to to please a woman in the bed. You need to be a provider. You need to be a protector. You need to be a builder. You need to be a good husband. You need to be a good father. You need to be a good partner overall. But like I mentioned in one video previously, because these male oftentimes they don't really know what it takes for them to be a male because for the most part these males don't stick around and raise their kids this is why whenever we have one of them that do come out here and they're basically doing what they're supposed to do as a father being involved going to school recital when their kids has any when they're a good father when they're a good partner oftentimes we will have women as well as these low hanging fruit coming out here talking about oh how they're the best thing since sliced bread and my thing is that y'all are just doing your job if you went out here and you voluntarily decided that you were going to impregnate a woman do you not know that no one is going to give you an oscar no one is going to give you an emmy because you're taking care of this child that is literally your job that is literally what you're supposed to do but like i said i wanted to come on here and talk about this woman that is so much better feminine fit and friendly yet all of these male are still out here impregnating her and leaving her like i said at this moment in time she's a three-time baby mama to three different low-hanging fruit so her first baby daddy is none other than 
Sean Moss that we also know him by Bow Wow. If this woman was all of these positive characteristics, then why didn't you marry her? Why did you guys broke up? Why after you guys broke up continuously, she has came out here and said how you haven't been really taking care of the kid that you once again voluntarily decided that you wanted impregnate to impregnate her with. And second on her list, unfortunately for her, she like so many other women, she fell prey to this male hair future. Like who in their right senses, honestly guys, who in their right senses would even give this male the time of day, let alone how him take your clothes off. This, this is, is truly so disgusting in my opinion because these will be the same group of women that will be out here trying to compete with us as black women, which I, I also think is quite hilarious because these women what they will do they will come in the black community because unfortunately they know that these male they tend to collect the trash of society so whenever they can get a prominent man within their own culture what they tend to do because they know that these male value their non-blackness they see it as currency what these women would do is that they will come here attempt to compete with you as a black woman and when they fall into the same predicament they want to come out here and cry on social media y'all just saw i was talking about erica mena how she came out here were calling safari literally every name within the book calling him a waste of man saying that he was abuser he's a cheater ultimately saying that he wants to come out here and pretend as if he's so interested in being a good father to everybody else's kid but not his but this is what i'm saying who in the right mind is going to give future any type of access to them? In my opinion, it is women that literally have little to no self-esteem because this male has repeatedly shown us who he is over and over and over. He has gone to all of these different women. He impregnate them. What he tend to do is like once these women are asking him for child support, which mind you, if you're a good father, if you're a responsible father, these women wouldn't even need to go to the court to put you on child support. But this is why I continue to say these male like be coming out here saying oh these women just want to take down another black male have you guys ever seen any true father any good provider out here being forced through the court to take care of the kids that they voluntarily decided that they were going to impregnate these women with Personally, I have never seen it. And this hair on your screen, I'm sorry, I don't remember his name at the moment, but this is her latest baby daddy. And again, I wanted to talk about this situation because this male has been very vocal about how these women, they possess everything that they want. This is why I continue to say, black woman, literally everything that these males say, y'all literally should just make it come through one of your air and go through the next because as you guys can see regardless of them putting this woman on a pedestal regardless of them saying that these are the epitome of what it is for you to be a woman we see that they ultimately always give these women the same result this is why i continue to say everything that these males say you literally should disregard it because Regardless of these males saying one thing, we always see how their action shows the complete opposite. These males, at the end of the day, they can only be who they are, regardless of them coming out here and saying whatever it is that they want to say. And unfortunately, like I said, the only reason why they continue to do this is because unfortunately, they know that unfortunately, there's still a lot of us that were ultimately out here listening to what they have to say. But my question to these male is, if these women are feminine, they're fit, they're friendly, they're beautiful, they're non-combative, they submissive. If these women are all of these positive attribute characteristics that y'all continue to put out here, why is it that you guys continue to treat them the same way that y'all treat black women? If these women are so much better, you would think that you would want to be a better man for them, no? But hey, who am I to question whatever these most desirable males of society have to say while they're ultimately going out here getting the woman that are not really the first to let within their own community. But just like I mentioned previously, these women, whenever they're not a hot commodity within their own community, 
they know the reputation that these low hanging fruit had. This is exactly why this woman would be four or 500 pounds. And they're not really concerned about it because even though the men within their own community has completely disregarded them, they know that they can always come to the least producing males of society and they can always get one of their king. Nonetheless, guys, this is all that I have to say on this whole situation. But I would love to hear what you guys have to say about these three most desirable male in society coming out here and making their preference, their spicy Latina, a three times single baby mama. Nonetheless, guys, this is all that I have to say on this very unfortunate situation for her because once again, she thought that because of her proximity to whiteness that she will get a better version of all three of these black kings. Unfortunately for her, it didn't work out that way. This, is, this why is why I continuously like to say black woman, whenever these male come out here talking all that raw, raw, momentarily propping these women up, literally the only thing that you have to do, sit back, relax, and enjoy, because these male eventually, their proxy, their representative is gonna just exit the building, and then these women are gonna see who these males truly are once that mask has ultimately left their face. What are your thoughts and opinion are? Please get in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Black women, it's time to hold ourselves accountable because we are reaping what we sowed. We have lied and gassed black men up for centuries, letting them think that they are kings with no kingdoms, letting them think that they are the emperor when they are naked. And now we are dealing with the consequences of those actions. Instead of being honest with black men and requiring them to do better for not only themselves, but the community that they help create, we have allowed them to tear it apart and then put it back together quietly behind their backs and then still let them get the credit for it.